Hello everyone, Dan 14th Prime here. Today I want to check out with you guys the Transformers Toys R Us exclusive Mission to Cybertron. This is Deluxe Class Premier Edition Skulltron. He is a repaint of Steelbane, and they're also doing some unique head sculpts as we've seen with the Megatron figure as well. He's got the pretty typical Premier Edition packaging, Deluxe Class, some of this Mission to Cybertron you know, uniqueness over here on the side. Cybertronian language. Toys R Us exclusive, some of the movie artwork over here. And then back of the box, you've got Skulltron, Knight of Cybertron. You can check him out there. He's the dragon, like Steelbane, into the knight. If I had to place this guy in the movie, I think he was the knight, one of the knights, the main one, guarding the staff. And when we pop him out of the box here, you'll definitely see he's got this sort of dead, you know, zombie-like head sculpt. So let's pop him out of there and check him out. Okay, so here is Skulltron out of the box. I gotta say, really nice paintwork. Really does work well with the whole Dead Knight effect. <laughs> I think that head sculpt looks really good too. Really kind of freaky, just decaying face, which looks cool. So let's jump in closer and check this guy out. So here's a full on look at Skulltron, and what you're looking at there is basically where your money is going. It's got this pretty cool kind of copper armor, and they've got some green accented across it, like it would be old and aged. And of course that head sculpt, we'll go in closer on that, but really, really gnarly. Unfortunately still suffers from just the steel bane mold issues. So I'm going to kind of hold this guy, but, you know, really kind of loose and flimsy. You get some Cybertronian here on the wing. That's kind of the Toys R Us exclusive thing. It's on all the packs. There's a card in a box. It's uh, on the toys and you can uh, decode all of that stuff. But, you know, he'll want to fall backwards basically right now. Really loose hips. You can kind of tuck these wings away or do whatever you like with them, kind of putting them back and down. Helps balance the figure more. The more you try to flare him, the more back heavy he gets. And then, you know, the leg kibble and stuff, all the types of things we saw with Steel Bane. So obviously none of that is fixed. You're just getting different paint. But it does look nice. I mean, all the way up through the thigh there. And I'd say, you know, much better wear effect than what we saw with like a Squeaks, for example. Different color and type of wear, but... This is much better done. And, you know, his whole torso gets loose, too, just because of the way he transforms. So, really hate the mold. The paint is nice. So, just jump in here a bit closer so you can check out that head sculpt. I think it's pretty cool. It's just all, like, messed up. It's really neat. But there's definitely a face there, kind of a really just decaying face. But he's got a mouth. He's got, like, one right eye that's a nice red color. A bit difficult to see with these big, bulky shoulder pads. But uh, you can check that out. Pretty cool. They call it Skulltron. I don't know if that's supposed to be tied in any way to, you know, Megatron, obviously, but it does kind of almost look like a zombie of Megatron head sculpt. And then you can just check out a bit closer that detailing. I mean, look at the green accent paints. It looks very, very well done, I will say. I think this Megatron and Skulltron figures, deluxe figures for 20 bucks exclusive at Toys R Us, I think the paintwork here is very nicely done. Even better than the typical Premiere Edition line that we've been seeing with the movie. And definitely better than what we saw with uh, their Optimus Prime 2-pack. He does also come with this sword, the Knight Sword, pretty consistent with Steel Bane. Just uh, kind of soft plastic, uh, but cast in kind of this uh, brown plastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and transform Skulltron. I'm not going to sweat time on uh, articulation. We've seen it with Steel Bane. Let's just put him into his dragon mode. I do not love this transformation. Very, Everything's very flimsy. But basically, let's kind of start by breaking apart this back section, which holds the chest peg. Go ahead and slide up the chest over the head. And in the back here, get these wings out of the way. I'm going to split the whole middle section. So to split that, give this a bit of a rotation at the head. See how that spins? And then just flip it all the way up and around. Same thing below. This piece is kind of on the side. Give it a rotation. So now you have all these pieces lined up. The chest becomes the belly side. So you need to rotate the thigh here a little bit. Wrong way. The feet kibble all go on like the back. So then you can flip out the head. Spin that around and uh, flip out the ears as well. Open the mouth. That's the top section. Come down to the tail section here. Similar thing. Give it a rotation. 
put the foot up there, pull out the tail. So there we go. So there we've got like the length of the guy put together and then it's just kind of getting everything in the middle situated. So you just want to flip out his hand, or his foot. That's going to become the dragon foot. Same thing over here to get that kind of down, flipped out. We'll need to come back and get this stuff situated, but you'll kind of want a bit of a squatting dragon leg like this. So we'll start to set that up. But this guy definitely requires some cleanup because he's just so flimsy. Get this top section, spread that, lock that back down. These become his uh, front paws. So just kind of lock the arms down. Yeah, nothing really transforms. You're kind of just posing some other pieces and kibble in place. Get the wings how you want them, kind of something like that probably. You know, give him a bit of a push up. And that's him. And again, he's just as loose and flimsy in this mode as he is in bot mode. So let me get him uh, cleaned up here in a second. But what I also like is stowing the weapon on top because it helps fill in some of that top side gap, which is just really, really ugly. So you can stow the sword right there on his back and that helps kind of fill in some stuff. All right, let me get him all cleaned up. Okay, and there he is in his dragon mode. It's like, don't touch the guy, he'll just fall on his face. I think all the coloring, you know, it works, it looks good. You know, I think for these knights, this alt mode is just to have him transform into something. As mainly in the movie, they're just the knights. We don't really see them transform. So again, you got the Cybertronian there if you're in the Toys R Us decoding stuff. The mold, as I said, was steel bane. I mean, you get the foot kibble on the back of the neck, on the back of the tail. Just really kind of hollow top side section. Would have made more sense for me if that bottom would have been his back. But, you know, you can kind of articulate some of the wings around, put him in some flying poses, things like that. You can get more of a full extended wing like this. So you can get the wings up and out like this to get some wingspan, kind of flying look. But again, it just looks... It just opens all this up even more. So the profile tends to be this guy's best side. So you have it guys, Toys R Us, The Last Night exclusive, Deluxe Class, Skullatron. Nice paintwork with this guy. Still hate the mold. Floppy, not fun to play with, but pretty impressed for 20 bucks with all that nice color and paintwork that you're getting there and the head sculpt. So that would be the only reason you want this guy. So if you haven't bought Steelbane yet, maybe think about picking up Steelbane or Skulltron if you're looking for just a knight from the movie. This is what zombies do. They just kind of chase after people with their arms up and grab them. So it's all I can think to do with the guy. Thanks for checking out the video. Link in the description below. You could pick him up on eBay if you're not having luck at Toys R Us. Much appreciated that you purchased through those links if anything on the channel is ever helpful or useful to you. All right, thanks for checking in. See you next time.